vitally important for the area and it's a wonderful opportunity for everyone to come in and have a look now this afternoon to see what's being done and what's on the, uh, what's on the cards for the next two years and beyond. This is the, one of the most significant developments in the history of uh, recent years in Ceredigion. South Ceredigion has been a difficult 10 years economically for the town and this is really the, the jewel in the crown of Cardigan. We're nearly there now. We've got £11 million of funding in place. The community still need to put in a final £100,000 to make sure that we can draw down the funding that has been promised to us by all the funding authorities. But this will really uh, move Cardigan forward. It'll bring much-needed jobs to the community. It'll bring tourism to the community. And as a historian, it will reinvigorate the importance of the castle as the birthplace of the Estevod in 1176 and uh, remind everybody, not just in the community, but those who are coming here, about the many different levels of history uh, that uh, is here within these four walls. Well, we have at the moment six jobs, and uh, in few, when it's finishing, we hope it's between 90, 20 jobs, but with a lot of volunteers actually running this, helping to run the site as well. It's great to be able to use our heritage to create jobs, to uh, attract more tourists to the area, which again has a further economic development knock-on effect to the businesses in town and in the surrounding area. The story of Cardigan Castle is such a fantastic uh, uh, story. Uh, the first uh, Eisteddfod ever held in Wales, held here in Cardigan Castle, and the history from, from then uh, onwards is such a fascinating story to be uh, told. Cardigan itself is a lovely town on the uh, Cardigan Bay coastline, so the attraction altogether of Cardigan Castle and the lovely market town that is uh, Cardigan, uh, all of that together will be such a fantastic attraction for tourists. Uh, to come to this part of Wales. Well, it would be nice to think that this project now will make Abertavy one of the most important, you know, tourism destinations in Wales, really, with a strong link with the first Estedward here and everything. There's, there are a lot of uh, themes that can be built on for the future. And, and here we have Simon, an exchange yeah. student from France. So, uh, Simon, uh, tell us where in France do you live? Yeah, uh, from uh, the Alps, you know. Yes, in South France. Yeah, in South France. Great. And so you've been over here in Cardigan working on several projects, the Credit Union yeah. and the Eco Shop, but also helping in the gardens with the castle. So have you enjoyed it? Yeah, really. It's a really nice uh, project uh, to work here for um, the history of Cardigan and the uh, whole really a um, lot of nice people and a good atmosphere. That's great. And I know you've seen a few French people uh, on the road outside and, ah, yeah. and able to tell them to come in in French as well. Yeah, forget the word in French. <laughs> yes, you haven't been speaking French long. So, so you're going, you've been over how long with us in Wales? How many, mm? how many weeks? Uh, six weeks. Great. And, yeah. this, and when are you going home now? Uh, in a few days. Oh, have you yeah. enjoyed the experience? Yeah, really. It's a really nice country to live and uh, I'm really happy to, uh, to be here. Great. So are you going to come back? Yeah, sure. Next week. You could, yes, great. In yeah. holidays. In yeah, next holidays, that'd be great. Thank yeah. you very much, Simon. Thank you. Great. I can remember it was back in 2003 that the local authority first uh, purchased the building, and it's been a, nearly a decade of hard work, and Kadugan have really taken on the mantle over the last a number of years to bring us to where we are now. It's an exciting project. A lot of work to go forward now in the next 15 months, 18 months, but we're looking at a 2014 Easter opening, all being well. I met with Prince Charles a few days ago in Abreiron, and I made the point of holding on to his hand and reminding him about the wonderful work that we're doing here and the hope that he will be able to be with us at the opening in 18 months' time so that we can move forward and we can show the world what Cardigan is about and Cardigan Castle is all about. Mm -hmm.